Maximum chance of a hammer shot? Eight? No way. How about 16, 24, 32? Not possible? Oh yes. Check out this video. Hello friends, hello YouTube, how are you guys doing? Rainbow here with another nut video and it's a little bit different, it's not a pure modding video this time. Yes, I did mod something, it's also to show off and um, it's going to be some announcements uh, and, well, interview things as you may have guessed from the title. But let's start at the very basic. You guys know I love the Hammer Shot. It's such a cool pistol blaster, I've modded tons of them. All of them here. I thought, you know, this couldn't be any better, but then I discovered something. This is a normal hammer shot, right? Eight round cylinder, sort of drum. And that used to be what we thought, you know, the max of the capacity of this blaster. And then some madman calling himself Trip from Radioactive Designs came along and changed that by combining my two most favorite things about Nerf modding, a hammer shot and an inline clip. So this, in fact, is not just an eight round drum. It can definitely be used as an eight round drum, put eight normal darts in there, fantastic. But if you put short darts in here, that actually is a 16 round drum because these uh, little barrels are printed as an inline clip. Yes, it is a printed inline clip cylinder. You may, may or may not believe that, um, similar to when I first heard about it. I, I, yeah, didn't know. And so I had to get my hands on it. And let me show you. So there's two short darts. So you got one, put one in here, done. And it's just right there, I'm putting a second one on top of it. Okay, now we're gonna rotate this. See the dart right there? We're gonna fire and try not to hit anything important. And it's back here. And you can see, I don't know if you can, second dart still in there. You're going to give it a little shake, going to rotate the barrel backwards, and prime it again. <laughs> it ended up right there as well. <laughs> Fantastic. And that's two shots. And that's two shots at a very impressive performance on top of this. So, yeah, um, obviously this has been modified a little bit, and I'm going to go into detail about what's going on in there just in a second. But can we just take a minute to sort of think about what this means. This is an inline clip cylinder. I can light 16 short darts, I can fire 16 darts from this pistol without having to reload. This is fantastic. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm still, like I've had these for a while, I've been playing around with them for a while, but I'm still blown away by how amazing this is and how well this works. So let's quickly go over the internals. There's obvious, there's a tuning spring in here. It's a seven kilo spring with a 12 millimeter spacer. And there is the death cap remover that I was talking about in my last hammer shot video, the brass rain. If you haven't seen that, the link's gonna be in the description. So what is a dead space remover? It is this little cap. Designed also by Trip from Radioactive Design. Let's talk about this really quickly. This little thing replaces the AR and the dead space in the hammer shot plunger and is genius. So without any other modification, this will boost your hammer shot by about 10 FPS. So you can have everything else stock and just replace the AR and the dead space with this little thing and you get plus 10 FPS. So this is in all the hammer shots you're going to see in this video. And it's probably going to be in all of my hammer shot mods from now on because it's so simple and so genius. It's fantastic. It's also really easy to install. So you open your hammer shot anyways when you mod it. All you got to do on the top of the, um, the front of the plunger where the AR sits, you cut that out by just sort of clipping off the two loops that hold it in place, take it out, cut out the inside of the air restrictor, make sure that there's enough room so this can fit in and then you degrease everything, you put some you know, proper glue on here, and then you glue it in place. And all you need to do after that is in the front here, you gotta actually get a seal happening. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You could use uh, silicon, you could use some sort of rubber, you could use um, two millimeter craft foam, which is what I'm currently using in all the blasters, which works great. 
Or if you don't have any of these things handy, take an old mega dart and just sort of cut two millimeters of that mega dart and uh, glue it on here. It'll work just fine. If you want to see me installing one of those and actually talk you through the entire process, there is a full video on my Patreon and my patrons will already know that because they've already watched it. So yeah, if you want, you know, go over there and check it out. So back to back to this. So remember that there's going to be the dead space removing all of the hammer shots that we're talking about because there is more. So with this and this setup, seven kilo spring, the prime is still fairly all right. Um, this is hitting an average of about 75 FPS. We're talking average, 16 darts from an inline clip cylinder, an average, 75 FPS. This is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. So that's a massive improvement, right? So what could he have done any better? How about adding more? This is a 24 round inline clip cylinder. And I kid you not, this is 24 shots from a hammer shot. Um, and just to show you, once again, you're going to load three darts in the same barrel. One, two, three. And with that print, you can actually see them sitting right here. So we're going to rotate this. And so there's one. Oh, damn it. I'm going to, I'm going to shake it. I'm going to rotate it again. Number two. I'm going to give this a flip. I'm going to rotate it again. And it's number three. And they're all coming back to the table, which is fantastic. So this is 24 and it works flawlessly. It's fantastic. He's designed this extended arm that a bunch of you have probably seen already with other hammer shop mods. It's nothing new to have the cylinder sort of, you know, being uh, attached from the top, but this obviously had to be an extended arm for this. So there's a new, and this design, and it's just incredible. 24 shots from your hammer shop and same mod similar modifications uh, to the inside, so dead space remover in here. And this one actually runs a stock spring with a 12 millimeter spacer. And we're getting an average, an average of 72 FPS. 72 FPS, 24 shots. This is fantastic. And yeah, you may guess it, he, he didn't stop there. So this, <laughs> Will probably be my first time shot. Oh, first off, I love this pink print. It's fantastic. But what are we looking at? This is a 32 round uh, cylinder and it does the exact same thing. It holds four short darts this time. All right. So it's one, two, three, four all in the same barrel. And again, you can sort of see them right there. And then when we rotate this, Give it a shot. That's one. Flip, rotate. That's two. And it came back. Flip, rotate. Flip. That is three. Flip. And four. Damn it. <laughs> now there's darts everywhere. So, with a similar internal tuning setup in this one, so we have the uh, dead space remover cap in there. And then this one actually has a I think it's a 10, 11 kilogram spring that I got from an F-Strike. So who knows what they really are, but they're labeled 11 um, and nothing else. Prime actually feels the same as a 7 kilo with the spacer. And the average FPS I'm getting from that is 70. Like 70 FPS average, 70, 72, around there. They're pretty similar in, in performance, even with the different springs. So I was talking to Trip. And uh, he's got higher numbers because he obviously has tweaked this to the perfection. I just wanted to, you know, have this running and working and they're fantastic. And for me, that's, that's it. Like 75 FPS or uh, 72 FPS from a 24, 32 round damage shot. Yes, I'll take that every day. So, but he obviously did a lot more. But yeah, the numbers will depend on what exactly your setup then is and how good your seal is. But since this isn't my idea, I thought it would be great for this video to have a chat to the guy who invented this, which is why we've done a little video. So now let's have a talk to Trip from Radioactive Designs. Just one thing, guys. Uh, we did record this video last week where uh, they had a power outage because of a hurricane over there. So I guess what I'm saying is don't mind the video quality dropping every now and then. The important thing is what we're talking about. Enjoy.
Hey man, how are you doing? What's up? <laughs> how are you doing? Seven hours ahead. Yeah, actually really What's good. What's the future like? It, the future is amazing. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's going to be really good uh, today. I can tell you that. <laughs> awesome. Talking about hammer shots, like you've done uh, the amazing thing, um, which I thought was impossible. You went <laughs> from um, taking my favorite sidearm blaster, the hammer shot, which I thought I had sort of seen and done almost everything to it, and combine it with my second favorite thing, the inline clip. <laughs> the inline clip. <laughs> so like you made the inline clip hammer shot. Um, can you like, just what, what was going on? How did you come up with that idea? Like, what was that? Well, it was actually completely by accident. <laughs> so I was, I was going through the different ammo types that nobody had done before on the hammer shot. And I could only come up with the one at the time. And that was, oh, that's not the one. Rival, and I was three shots because that's that's what fit. But I tried to I tried to shotgun them, and right. two didn't come out at once. It shot six individual shots, and so I'm sitting here, huh? That's very interesting. I wonder what else can do that. <laughs> and so I looked up how to use inline clips, what all was needed. Uh, spent hours and hours in the uh, in Tinkercad, actually. That's what I used, trying to figure out what would work. And then I came up with the 16. I got the 16 round right here, right? So when I was looking at this, um, I was comparing it to uh, the uh, Gavin Fuzzy eight round cylinder that I have and that I really like to use. And... A lot of people said that this is really, really uh, fine work and Gavin Posse is the only one to do it. And then you just kind of essentially made the same thing, but better. Which, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Can Somebody I... said in one, in one of the comments, uh, Gavin Fuzzy, eat your heart out or something like that. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no disrespect for Gavin Fuzzy. Like he's amazing. He no disrespect. Work. He's he's a great person. Oh hell yeah! But um, I mean, like so far, every other three D printed cylinder that I saw was only up to seven rounds because people always thought we don't know the magic that Gavin has and we can't do eight round sort of working cylinder. And the problem is always yeah. the rotation mechanism. Like it's not the cylinder per se; yeah. it's the rotation mechanism. And um, so yes, I got to give it to you that like you you kind of made that working and um yeah it's fantastic but um of course we want to talk about not just the one i mean this you know doubles um the shots yeah, that, you have from a hammer shot it's fine you didn't stop there like you, you kind of went that which is 24 24 um, why not yeah so i mean same system so the, the idea seems simple to just extend the cylinder to hold more darts and then have it work but um, I mean, it's simple. It's it's a fairly simple idea. But at what point? Like, I mean, obviously, you also have you also have the thirty-two, which is my pink one. Um, yeah. I have. Uh, at what point did you start running into performance issues with this? Like, well, thirty-two is. I mean, that's getting more into issues that I can't count to thirty-two than it actually being different performance. 40, I think, would be the most... Hold on, let me find my 40. 40, 40. I think, would be the most <laughs> that you would <laughs> want to go for. I mean, this is running out of, uh, out of, uh, out of room on my 3D printer. I, I can maybe go one more dart and then I'm out of room. Yeah, I was going to say, like, the, the 32 one was really big to print in uh, the one piece. Like, the, the, another another uh, uh, three-something, whatever, millimeters, and then... Yeah, wow. Um, yeah, but um, in terms of performance, I mean, like, uh, you've also, you also designed that um, dead space remover. <laughs> the couple of things that you have, like, I can, I, can only do, I can only do this many and throw them everywhere. <laughs> but, I, but I do have some as well. Yeah. So, yeah, that dead space remover, that's, that's awesome. Like, I've, I've teased it in my other video. Uh, and it, it just adds 10 FPS to whatever setup you have. So it's actually 13% over completely stock. So, it, so American spec, it brings up from 60 to 70 FPS. 
with no other modifications done to it. Right, okay. So that is a, that is a very good increase for something so small and relatively simple to do. You don't have to change out cylinders, buy upgrade screens, spacers, make anything more difficult to prime. I really kind of want to have this, and I definitely will for my personal builds, just have this as a standard to all the Hemishot mods. The whole thing, like, I would love to pick your brains um, about the entire idea of dead space removal because I have theories and physics and, and, and things that, that make me question this, but that's not part of this video. Like, you know, we got to leave some stuff for a different video. Yeah. Um, what I want to talk to you about is like the performance from these things because all the people, the people I talk to, Inland Cliff Hammershot, yes, sweet, but what's the performance? You know, you all know the Hammershot is not the easiest one to tune, but I've got numbers here. I've done. I've prepared something for this. Oh. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I have done, I've done testing on all of my three inline clips. Obviously, we were shooting short darts because that's what the inline yeah. clip works with. But with the 16 round, um, I have a setup. So I have this dead space remover installed, right? I have a probably seven kilogram spring from an F-strike. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and um, I have a 12.6 millimeter spacer with that spring. All right. And and so with this setup on the 16 round cylinder, I'm hitting an average of 80 FPS with 16 yeah. darts. That is fantastic. Yeah, that's like it's actually a little bit lower than what I was getting. Right, okay. I was getting I was getting highs into the 100s on mine on a very similar setup. That space removal, uh 8 kilogram spring and a uh about that size spacer, maybe a little bit higher. Here comes my inline clip knowledge. So like in a traditional inline clip, the first dart is always the weakest because there's too much, like there's all the other darts blocking the air travel, the straight air travel within the inline clip. So that, that's why I'm going, because with my 16 round, like with the ADF, the first round, the first eight um, had, an, had an average of 75 and the second round had an average of 85 with like highs in like the mid nineties. Um, so this is how the overall average of 80 FPS came to be. So um, I, I was, I looked at this and I was like, yep, that's how I expected an inline clip to behave. Yeah. And the 80 FPS seems awesome. Then I went on to the uh, 24 and in here at the moment, I have a stock spring, uh, ah. the dead space remover and a 12 millimeter spacer. And with this, um, I'm getting an average of 75, but the surprising one came with the 30, 32, which is the biggest one I have to test. Um, and that has like with 32, that's four darts per barrel, um, yeah. has an average of 70 FPS, which yeah. I think is amazing. And it's not just the average. It's like, it's very, very consistent. So I noticed like, that too. It's a very strange consistency. It like gets more consistent as it gets bigger. Yeah, which is weird, right? Because normally, like when I look at my Big Shock inline clip mods, okay, when I have them set up for uh, four or five short darts, um, if I'm using four, like I have a spread between sixty and ninety FPS. Yeah. So if I'm using five, I have a spread between sixty or lower and ninety FPS. So like. It's, but if I'm using two, um, I'm in between 85 and 95. So <laughs> from the experience from there, it's different, but it, this seems the other way around, which makes this so much better. Like for some reason, it's just so much better. It could be the difference between barrel material because it's, it's completely 3D printed. There's no brass or anything in there. Yeah. And your version has the little air channels on the inside too to help air get around the darts. Yeah, I must say, I must say, the design with the air channels um, is seems brilliant to me because um, it doesn't affect the inline clip much. You know, to like when I compare my pretty my, my setup to your setup, yes, it, it lowers by maybe five, but it's not like I'm having a hammer shot that doesn't perform. Like we're talking thirty two yeah. shots from a hammer shot at an average of seventy fps, um, just right there which i think is fantastic given that standard hammer shot is like what 50 5 60 50 yeah 50 something i don't depends, know depends depends on how old it is and how used it is 
one thing we didn't talk about is the fact of availability of deep links. So you have all this stuff, obviously, on your Etsy shop. Um, links yes, going to be on my shop. The the files and such. Links going to be in the description. So like, if you guys want to get your hands uh, on it, um, you also do print and ship within the states, right? I do, but I have not uh, started availability on physical things for the the inline just because they take so long on my printer with my settings but that will be something that i work on in the next couple months to get out so but the really cool thing um which i'm quite excited about is the fact that you and i and or in other terms uh, radioactive designs and rainbow mods and props are doing a partnership on these and i'm making them available for europe and so i'm making it available right. in printed form so if you guys yeah. want to get your hands, like if you're in around, you know, Europe and want to get your hands on those, get in touch. Thanks for that. And it's going to be fun. <laughs> it'll, it'll be very fun. I can't wait to see the 32 shot hammer shots on the field become a, a thing that's not just a one off. I'm looking forward to see more of these. They'll, they'll make pistol rounds a lot more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that, that's for sure. Thanks very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to, you know, sit down and talk with me. No um, problem at all. And I'm, I'm way excited. And, and, you know, there's obviously more stuff that you do. I only have the, the short dot inline clips here at the moment because, you know, that's what I was really interested in. But obviously you do um, Rivals, as you said, because that's what you started with. Uh, you do, I'm working on Rival. Yeah, you also, you also got a, a, the... The, um, the, yeah, the monitor... Yeah, that's 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 another thing that I need to I need to actually see how that works at some point, because that's just so cool. It was like having a handheld rocket launcher just right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Guess you know. Thanks so much for you know designing this and making them available to not just me but the community. Um, you know, being part of the community. And I have a feel that we're going to talk again fairly soon about some other really cool stuff that you have lined up. Thanks again, Trip, for that interview. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed our little chat about all sorts of things, but mainly these fantastic invention of his. And so if you're wondering how you can get your hands on, we've talked, we've mentioned it in the interview. There's two different ways how you can do this. First off, go check out Radioactive's Etsy shop. Uh, I'm gonna link it in the description. You can get the files for personal use and um, you can buy them there if, if you wanna print one of your own. If you don't have access to a printer or you you know just want don't want to do, go through the hazard of doing all the things you can also ask me rainbow martin props and radioactive designs are doing a collaboration on this so that means i am licensed to print his files and sell them through my shops so if you don't have access to a printer and you want me to print this for you just get in touch um it's going to be through my etsy through my social media and the usual channels facebook instagram and all that links are all in the description at the moment, I only have the inline clip cylinders and the dead space remover in my shops. But as time goes on, we're going to add some more of his stuff as well. So if you've seen something already that you'd really like, like the rocket launcher or the rival cylinder, make sure to get in touch and I'll keep you updated once they're available. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you, Trip, for the interview. And as always, it would mean the world to me if you guys, while you're here, you know, sub to the channel, hit the notification bell, you know, likes and all this kind of thing. Go check out my social media. Make sure to check out the videos on screen now. Go check out Trip and all of his links as well. And if you want to, go check out my Patreon. It means the world to me if you support me there. Shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. And I'll see you next Nerf Battle, next Pistol Round. <laughs> Love and sunshine. <laughs>